Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to take a look at who secretly envies you and is in a one-sided competition with you. Before we get into the reading, I want to invite you all to book a personal private session with me through my website www.divinelotustarot.com where you can find the link to do that in the description box below this video. I also want to invite you all to subscribe and follow and support my other social media websites, my blogger account which is called Div uh, Divine Lotus Tarot Talks, my Instagram account, um, and subscribe and follow the to this channel as well too and you can just find the information for my social media accounts under this video as well too so we are going to go ahead and get into the reading in regards to who secretly envies you and is in a one-sided competition with you and we're going to start with the zodiac sign of Taurus and end with the zodiac sign of Aries. So if you have significant placements of any of these zodiac signs in your birth chart, feel free to watch all that apply to you. Okay. Okay. So for those of you who have significant placements of Taurus in your birth chart, we have the devil card coming up. Um, the energies that we have coming up as far as zodiac sign, we have Gemini. Um, but just further clarifying the devil energy, I was getting strong fire energy, um, strong Aries Leo energy could be a water sign as well too, or someone who has water sign placements. And then I also got a husband energy. So this could be your husband or someone else's husband. But the, the thing that I'm getting in regards to the individual who um, envies you and is in one sided competition with you more than anything, this is someone who you actually like regularly hang with or talk to um this is someone where i feel like it would be very surprising to you obviously because it's secretly but i feel like this person masks very well their this person hates you i'm gonna just be honest with the devil card here this person not they don't just secretly envy you and compete with you one-sidedly this person literally hates you and every time you accomplish something it like really infuriates this individual there's also strong um childhood energy here so maybe for some of you this is someone who either is um someone you grew up with in childhood or you went to school with um is what i'm getting so this could be yeah someone from your childhood now i'm also getting as well too i heard that this individual has mastered the art of manipulation because like i said this is someone who he he and ha ha's in your face um you wouldn't tell by the way this person acts that they don't like you or that they don't fuck with you because of that reason as well as this is the type of person the energy i'm picking up is that they keep their friends close and their enemies closer and this individual looks at you like an enemy okay oh and besides the fact that they not only envy you secretly and are in a one-sided competition with you this individual is also doing um black magic on you and they constantly are doing and getting tarot readings done on you um is what i'm getting so this person is doing a lot they're doing a lot for a very small few of you i am picking up business or career so this could potentially be for some of you someone who is like a competitor in your career field okay um, but for others of you this definitely is like a childhood friend a sibling or someone you knew when you were younger and this person has always been in competition with you ever since then like so ever since the moment this individual met you like this person has been in competition with you and it's like they like to stay in your present they like to stay in your energy to stay close to you yeah it's weird and then lastly before i move on the other thing i'm really strongly picking up is there's something about you in a relationship that this individual is like constantly trying to block so this could potentially be someone where they may be the catalyst for the reason why your relationships go sour just put it like that so for those of you with significant placements of gemini in your birth chart we have the hermit card coming out so right away um this could be someone who is a virgo or have very strong virgo placements in their birth chart we have the energy of Scorpio, Taurus, Pisces, Leo, Aquarius, 
Sagittarius and then we also have daughter energy here where it could be your own daughter it could be someone else's daughter who you are associated with or know of um, or not <laughs> someone else's daughter um, or it could be someone who you have a daughter with I feel like these individuals are always watching you secretly more than they let on um, always doing research into what you're doing always studying you I feel like there could be some element about you that these individuals really want to like mock or copy for their own so they secretly watch you to try to um, figure out like essentially how do you do what you do what makes you you um, and then for others of you as well too I'm getting up an energy around like you know these individuals are watching you and secretly envious and competing with you because they feel like things always just like work out for you like it, it just seems like you're just blessed and highly favored and like things always go your way like even when things don't go your way or things happen negatively to you it's almost like your comeback game is like super strong so these individuals like don't like that essentially that that you don't allow yourself to get knocked down and stay down but I'm also seeing um, envy around like your relationships, the type of relationships you have or the, maybe the type of people that you can pull in um, your finances. Moving on to those of you with significant placements of cancer in your birth chart. We have the death card coming up. OK, so this definitely is very strong Scorpio energy. So it could be someone who is a um, Scorpio or they have very significant, strong Scorpio placements in their birth chart. We also have the Zodiac sign energies coming through for Taurus, Aquarius and Pi or Pisces and Aries. So um, this could be someone who is single, um, a single friend or someone who is a single associate of yours is what I'm picking up. So I feel like for some of you, this individual could be someone where you already like ended things with this person, but maybe for whatever reason, you and this person resume some type of connection. Um, so it's almost like, yeah, the two of you already had like some type of falling out or you severed ties, but it may be someone that you reconnected with. For others of you as well too, what I'm picking up is whoever this indiv individual or individuals are um it's like they are always looking and hoping and wishing for your downfall put it like that for any and everything you do to fail is what i'm seeing so okay so for those of you with significant placements of leo in your birth chart we have the full card coming up so this could be someone who is an aries or Aquarius or they could have very um, strong placements of this in their birth chart somewhere we also have the energy the zodiac sign energies of Aquarius again Taurus and Cancer and then we have the energy of girlfriend here so I'm getting this could be a current girlfriend or someone else's girlfriend who this type of energy relates to um, I feel like what these energies of these people most envy about you or are secretly you know competitive in regards to you is because you seem to be able to do what you want or your sense of being able to like be free or move on so this also could entail that this could be maybe um past individuals who you used to be in relationships with but i also just feel like it's like your naivety and your your like innocence um, in that sense to like just do what you want so it's like your carefree attitude put it like that so these individuals um, secretly envy the fact that you're just so careless or you're so carefree and that things just seem to happen for you by chance like you just you're just lucky <laughs> so next for those of you with significant placements of virgo in your birth chart we have the eight of cups energy here um so this could be a water sign individual or someone with significant placements of water in their birth chart we also have pisces energy showing up aries and aquarius um we have the energy of it could be um i get if you were divorced from someone and you have a child with this individual so whoever you divorce from that you have kids with as well as um, it could be an uncle so your uncle or someone else's uncle 
but I feel like these individuals um it's the fact that you left them behind is what I feel like so you could have moved away from certain people who still like watch you from your past this could be yeah I'm getting like a husband energy for a lot of you all that you're divorced from but either way is it could be someone who you have who you were um, divorced from who you have children with and and an uncle as well too so it's almost like individuals still keeping up with you who you no longer talk to and then also what I'm getting is um, for some of you if you weren't married to this individual this could just be someone who you have kids with who you left who never thought that you would leave them um, as well as it could have been someone who tried to intentionally trap you with a baby is what I'm getting okay moving on to those of you with significant placements of Libra in your birth chart we have the moon card here so it could be someone who is has significant placements um, sun sign for cancer very strong cancerian energy it could be a Pisces it could even be a Scorpio energy is what I'm picking up I also have the energy of Libra so it could be another Libra um, an Aquarius an Aries individual I have a feminine energy here so it could be females um, or certain females um, and then there's an elderly energy so it could be a elderly fem uh, someone who would be considered elderly um, and it could be a female that is considered elderly or just um, someone who is an elder and then other uh, females in your life so you could just have <laughs> you could just have females that that just feel some type of way because the moon is also very like feminine energy so it definitely could just be like females in general like it's just females <laughs> you just got females that just secretly envy you and compete with you um i also get opportunist energy so for some of you as well too this these could be individuals maybe you um realize that these individuals were opportunist in your life as well too um or this could, these could just be individuals who are currently around you who are um opportunist and they hold this energy um even though they're benefiting from you they're still envious and have a one-sided competition with you so for those of you with significant placements of scorpio in your birth chart we have the three of swords coming up so this could be individuals with significant placements of air in their birth chart Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we also have zodiac sign energies coming through of Aries, Capricorn, and Taurus. Um, we have a sun energy, so this could be your sun or someone else's sun. We have an uncle energy, so it could be your uncle or someone else's uncle. It could be someone who you have a, a son with. Um, it could be someone who you are divorced from. Um, it could be a daughter of yours or someone else's daughter. Um, it could be someone who you have a daughter with um, it could be someone you consider a friend or an associate um, it could be someone who is um, single so this that would apply to those of you who are in relationships you have someone who secretly likes you but they envy you and they're in competition with you so they have it's like a secret admirer or some shit like that um, you could have males that um oh my goodness you could have males <laughs> you could have females you could have people who are elderly it could be a sister so it could be your sister or someone else's sister you could have um co-workers we got brother energy so it could be your brother or someone else's brother um there could be someone who's experienced a loss so someone who's grieving someone's death um we have wife energy so this could be your wife or someone else's wife we have girlfriend energy so this could be your girlfriend or someone else's girlfriend we got aunt energy so this could be your aunt or somebody else's aunt there is a married uh individual or a married couple as well too <laughs> so y'all got a lot of people um yeah a lot of people but the interesting thing is scorpio what the hell I feel like in all the readings I have been doing lately, like you have people who are big mad at y'all in just any type of spectrum like that you don't even talk to. So 
that could definitely be the root to some of this envy and whatever but yeah you have a lot of a whole lot of people who are envious and in one-sided competition with you that either you don't know that exists or you just don't even talk to these people so for those of you with significant placements of Sagittarius in your birth chart, we have the Prince of Swords coming out. So this is strong Gemini energy, um, or this could be someone who holds um, other significant placements of Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in their birth chart. Um, besides that, no signs really wanted to come out, but we did have sister energy come out. So this could be... Um, uh, individuals who you look at as sisters who you call sister someone else's sister or your actual own sisters um, but what I'm seeing is essentially it's like all these people talk shit about you but they don't ever address or say anything to your face um, because they don't have any valid reasons to actually be envying you but in their own head they make up shit to have reasons to talk about you about um and you always are in the rotation and in conversations um essentially like when you're not there you, you get what i mean um but yeah these individuals are envious and in one-sided competition with you secretly is what i'm getting um but like super secretly super secretly like so these could be people who you come around and they don't give off the fact that they don't um that they feel this way towards you but i'm seeing it stems very strongly i'm seeing about like your love life is a strong topic of discussion and factor here your future um like your accolades your success and things of that nature and, and, and the fact that like i don't know i guess when you do random shit that seems to be something that people are envious and jealous about the fact that like shit just randomly either happens for you or that you do random shit and it works out for you or something like that i don't know it doesn't really look yeah they, none of these people in any of these signs have legitimate reasons but this is really um just based on the fact that these individuals just feel some type of way because it looks like your love life or some shit like that okay i had to clarify um so essentially it's just like your own unique individuality is is what i'm seeing that these individuals are jealous about they're just essentially mad and envious and in one-sided competition with you because of something that you possess which is unique to you so whatever you do you do it uniquely or you're one of one or you're an individual of whatever that you do um and that is why these individuals are in competition with you with in regards to something that is essentially like your birthright or something that like you solely possess because it's of you and that that works for you essentially <laughs> so the fact that you're you you're authentic to who you you're supposed to be next all right, so for those of you with significant placements of Capricorn in your birth chart, we have the Two of Pentacles coming up. So this is Capricorn energy here, but it also could just entail it's someone else who has significant placements of Earth, Virgo, Taurus um, in their birth chart. Um, and yeah, further validating that other zodiac sign energies we have, we have Capricorn coming up again. Um, we have Sagittarius, we have Aries we have Aquarius we have Leo and we have Libra there's also an uncle energy here so this could be your uncle or somebody else's uncle but I'm hearing love and finances could be the two major things which is interesting because you got the two of Pentacles here so the two main things that um, these individuals secretly envy and are in one-sided competition with you about is in regards to love and finances yeah yep that is all so for those of you with significant placements of aquarius in your birth chart we have the ace of cups coming up <laughs> uh, so this could be a water sign or someone who has significant placements of water sign or water signs in their in their birth chart um 
Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We also have the zodiac signs coming through of Libra. We have Virgo. We have Scorpio. And we have Gemini. Um, we also have the energy of a father energy. So this could be your father, someone else's father, someone you look at as a father, or someone who you have fathered kids with. Okay. And then th there's also an energy of complication or it's complicated so i even feel like there's people who are who secretly envy and are in one-sided competition with you but they don't it's, it's to me it's given a love-hate relationship so it's like they 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 love you but they hate you but they hate that they love you <laughs> So these individuals see you as having like the perfect dream, wish come true type of like fantasy, like love and romance. So that's what I'm seeing. That that seems to be the main source of whatever this is for these people who are secretly envious and competing with you one-sidedly. It seems to have to do with like your love and romance life because they see you as getting like something that that you deserve you know like your dreams coming true like you so you could have the dream girl or the dream guy um is what i'm saying and if it hasn't happened to you then it's going to happen to you and the reason why these people know is because these people are doing tarot readings on you or going to some type of high priestess to figure out your business next okay so for those of you who have significant placements of Pisces in your birth chart we have the princess of swords coming through so this could be someone um, who holds the energy of air placements in their birth chart um, it could also be someone who is younger than you okay um, and these also is letting me know this could just be individuals who are on social media um, that watch you okay so we have as far as zodiac signs we have capricorn energy coming up we have libra energy we have scorpio energy we have virgo energy um let me see i'm hearing aries energy what else yeah so it could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or they could have those. It's more so this person could potentially have air sign placements um, in their birth chart. Okay. Um, so they definitely have significant placements of air in their birth chart, but I definitely feel like these are individuals on social media. Okay. Um, so yeah, Capricorn, Libra, Scorpio, Virgo. And then I'm, I also have the energy here of a friend, someone you consider a friend or someone you look at as an associate but i also just heard considered so for some of you this is currently someone who you still deal with who you see like this is an associate of yours or a friend of yours and then for some of you as well too this could be individuals where this is like a former friend or a former a former associate is what i'm picking up but Yeah, these are whoever these individuals are. They keep a close watch and close tabs on whatever you do. Okay. And I'm hearing that they want to be better than you as well, too. So you really inspire these individuals to be very competitive because they want to be better than you. It's like whatever they do, they measure whatever they do compared to you. And then this is also just kind of giving me copy, mocking, mimicking energy as well too. So these could be people who like want to copy your, uh, copy things that you do, copy your ideas. And then also what I'm seeing is the other thing that they uh, really envy about you or that, you know, really makes them want to, I guess it puts them in a very competitive competitive energy that's one-sided on their part is the fact that like maybe they feel they have to work twice as hard compared to what you do so I feel like whoever these people are they feel like you kind of get things easily they feel like you can take like long breaks and that like you still come out either being just as or more successful than other individuals is what I'm seeing so I, I guess these individuals feel like you don't put work like things come to you 
effortlessly or magically or like serendipitously like you don't have to really put in a lot of effort or at least they don't see the effort or the work that you put in or whatever and they feel like you just get things easily like success just comes easily to you is what I'm seeing or as well too like you get to just um like take breaks when you want to and you can just take as much time as you want to like it's like you don't have to race like if these other individuals it's essentially like the fact that you don't see other people as competition is what makes these people envious the fact that you like take your time you go at I'm here in a snail space so some of y'all can move very slowly with what you do and you still come out like super successful you may take breaks often or take long ass breaks you still come out like hella successful or you just work at your own pace you know what i'm saying and you don't compete against other individuals it's like you're in your own lane running your own race and you don't worry about the competition is what i'm seeing that's kind of what i'm picking up is what, what they're envious and why they're competing against you because the fact that you don't compete against these people like you just it feels like you have a very like blase and nonchalant attitude and you just kind of like literally go with the flow i mean which is what pisces is known as doing but it just really feels like yeah you just take your time and whatever you're creating i guess or working on you put it out when you want to put it out and it still comes out hella successful you know versus whoever these people are okay so that's for those of you with significant placements of aries in your birth chart we have the temperance card coming up so you could have someone who is a sagittarius um, strong sagittarius energy here is what i'm getting yeah but the other energies that i'm picking up is we got libra we have capricorn we have taurus we have gemini we have Scorpio, we have Virgo, yeah, there goes that Sagittarius energy again, we got Aquarius, we got Cancer, and we got another, or we got Aries energy as well too, so it could be other Aries individuals, um, and then we also have the energy of daughter, so it could be your own daughter, it could be someone else's daughter, or someone who you have a daughter with, okay, so, so what I'm getting, th these definitely could be love interests or just other individuals, I guess, from the past who you passed up the opportunity to reconcile with is what I'm getting. So now it's almost like they've made it their, um, they envy the fact of your life, I guess, just in general. But then they also um, are in competition with you now because essentially you don't want to be with them or you don't want to reconcile and have anything to do with them it's almost like a situation where you're just kind of like no i'm good that's the kind of energy i'm getting so it could be individuals who envy the fact that like you work so well by yourself or you can do things by yourself and you don't it's essentially like i feel like it's people like that you don't want to partner with so this also could be like people who like um maybe like business deals or uh things of that nature where it's like you are able to pick and choose what business deals that you accept and don't like you could have a lot of say so or leeway um where i guess your energy is not desperate um so maybe some people feel you know um envious of that the fact that like you can pick and choose the things that you accept to partner with or collaborate with um is what i'm getting so it, it could be yeah people who are in competition with you um, also, I'm seeing as well, too, it could be certain deals and brands and things that you work with um, where people are envious and in competition that they want those. So you could get those very easily, whereas someone else, it's like they aren't even being considered for whatever this I keep hearing promotions, So it could be promotions as well, too. So you could be getting promotions that other people want, but it feels very strongly like you get some type of like opportunities or brand deals or something like that business wise that other people get passed up on and you get it easily like people want you people seek you out and it's just like your attitude is very just chill and very like nonchalant um um but i'm gonna just just put a little information out here for some of y'all y'all hella spiritual okay y'all are here hella spiritual and some of y'all pray like very like 
strongly who whatever your faith system is is very strong as fuck and that's what people don't even realize um that's why you're so blessed that's that's an, another thing why people are so envious and in competition with you they're trying to compete with you about things that are like divinely blessings to you is what i'm seeing so they're envious about things that i guess in a sense it doesn't even make sense to be envious about because this is something that is like divinely ordained for you to get but you know they would have to understand the concept of that in order to not be envious but that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing people be envious of shit that's actually your blessings like these are your blessings they have your name on them and people are they try to they're in one-sided competition about something that they're not going to ever be able to get (laughs) because it's divinely ordained for you to have these blessings so i guess that makes them mad that you get these so easily but you get them easily because this is what this is your birthright period it's your birthright so whatever you're getting is because you're supposed to get it and however it comes to you whether you work hard for it or not it's because you're supposed to get it period um so yeah i guess that makes people envious and they try to compete with you about stuff that there's really no point to compete with you about because this is something that's divinely orchestrated for you but that seems to be all the messages um make sure you go ahead book a private session with me at my website www.divinelotustarot.com 